my name is Paul Grogan and welcome to another Gaming Rules unboxing video. This just arrived in the post and I want to basically open it up and show everybody what they see. Now as you can see, I have the game still in shrink, so you are going to get an exact what, what, is, what is in this game and let's have a look at the quality of some of the components. Now this was a successful Kickstarter campaign and I believe it's being delivered uh, to backers soon, so here we go, Gloomhaven Forgotten Circles, which for those people don't know is an expansion for Gloomhaven. Do not buy this game unless you have played the original game. Also, uh, you're not allowed to play any of the scenarios in this until you have completed scenario number 51 from the base game, which I can't talk about because of spoilers. Right, here we go. So we have rulebook and scenario guide. So it is exactly what it says. Now, I'm going to try and be careful not to give many spoilers away here. Okay, so here we go. The first couple of pages are rules only. Uh, so yeah, what you've got is basically a components list of everything that's in here. There is one new character included in the expansion, which is the Diviner. And we have the new rules, which um, basically tell you what the Diviner can do. There's a new uh, token called Regenerate, which you can get. Um, and the Diviner can basically create rifts and teleport, teleports, and there's a few extra little rules as well. Now, let's just have a quick look. Are we going to see any spoilers? Yes, there's going to be spoilers there, so I'm not going to turn the page. But what I will tell you is that this scenario book is laid out differently from the other ones. Basically, instead of a scenario being on one entire page, what it is is that you will have the first room of the scenario on one page and then depending on which door you go through it will tell you to turn to another page. So it's a little bit more like hidden information, a bit more like a fantasy adventure would be. You don't know what's through the door until you turn the page. And the way that the rulebook is, again I'm not going to show you because of spoilers but I have seen it, it's very well laid out that when you turn to another page, that page actually has different sections on it for different scenarios. So even if you were to accidentally glance at a particular page, you probably wouldn't see which scenario it is part of. Anyway, so that's that. As I say, I'm not going to show you much more. Uh, we have um, Monster Artificial Intelligence Reference on the back, which is really useful because this is some of the rules that people find uh, a bit tricky, uh, is how the monsters focus and stuff like that. Let's just check here. Yeah, okay, not going to show you any of that as well. So that is the rulebook and scenario guide. Right, now, we have some new stickers, because there are new scenarios included in this game. Uh, so there are new stickers, which are new map locations, which will go on the board, uh, 96 to 115. Now, these, uh, obviously, the original map had just up to number 95 on it, so you will need to find where these stickers go. Uh, there's some extra global achievements as well, some extra enhancements that you can have on your character. Uh, so yeah, stuff that can happen. Right, now, if you don't want to see the monsters included in the scenario, don't look any further. Uh, I'm not really going to be covering them any detail, but you can see two of them have already punched out. I hope they're not missing. I hope they have just punched out. Yep, there's one of them, uh, which is presumably that one. And is there another one in here? Yep, there's another one in here as well. So Paul's punch test. Um, well, somebody's already done it for me. Let's have a look. Yep, okay, all all nice and cleanly cut. So yeah, new monsters. Again, not going to be covering them in much detail. We have the Diviner character class. Now, you might think this is a bit of a spoiler, um, but the information about this is available online. So if you don't want to see anything about the Diviner, uh, then, then look away now for a bit. But I am going to show you, I'm not going to go through the cards, but I am going to show you the new uh, the new character board. Yep, so that is the Diviner. Uh, nine cards, fairly weak as far as hit points go, and all the usual stuff in the box. So we have the character sheet, uh, which you can see how that character's ability deck will evolve. We have the cards, we have the ability modifier deck, and we have for owners of the standee edition. That, that's good, because this expansion comes with a mini, so you've got a mini or you've got the standee. Uh, which reminds me, I've actually lost a lot of my original minis. So um, yeah, I'm going to put that over there and I'm going to show a picture of that on screen now. So that's the Diviner. Uh, Holt, this is the back of the deck. In order to avoid potential spoilers, do not remove this card. Right, so I don't quite know what this is, but we have a deck, probably new city road events, probably new road events. Looks like there's new cards for generating random dungeons. Right, box, is that a D? 
I guess it's a D for diviner. So it's not just an envelope, it's a box with stuff in it. It's card size, so I'm guessing it's got some cards in it. Who knows what's in there? Envelope E, sealed. Again, who knows what's in there? Uh, new monsters, which again, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna really show these off because some of these are bosses, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it looks like there's four monsters and three bosses. Nice, I do like boss fights. Um, two new ones of these, this'll be useful because quite often we run out. Um, new monster ability cards, oh, and items as well. Okay, let's have a look at this, if I can get in. Yep, we're in. So we have ability cards for, what do we have? We have uh, Ashblade, uh, the Savage, and the Tracker. Okay, so the Tracker might be a generic one. Like you've got the guards and the archers, it might be that these are the cards for all types of tracker. Uh, we will see. But yeah, only three of them. So, and new items. Again, I'm not going to show these too much because I don't know when these unlock. Uh, they might be ones that you find in certain places. Some extra little standees. And that is everything. So, yes, Gloomhaven, Forgotten Circles, for those people who have finished Gloomhaven, because you can never really finish it, I don't think. Um, as I mentioned at the start, you can only play the scenarios in here once you have played Scenario 51. This continues the storyline uh, from, from the base game and kind of wraps things up in a more final way, from what I've been told. Uh, our group has finished scenario number 51, so we are able to play this. Uh, it does mean one of the characters is going to have to uh, roll up a diviner. But um, yeah, there we go. So yeah, I'm hopefully going to manage to get this all in my base game box. I think I will. I think I'll just about get everything in. Um, although the front cover is very nice, so that's probably going to go up on my wall somewhere. Anyway. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy this video and uh, some of the other content that I produce, then please consider supporting me over on Patreon.com. Even just a dollar a month really helps. And until next time, take care and thanks for watching. Gaming Rules is proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.